In the morning in Nashville, the sun shone in spots, making lines on the breakfast table. Travis Kelsey messed up his coffee mug. He was still tired from reviewing games late at night. It had been a year since the start of their crazy relationship, which happened today. He looked across the table at Taylor. The light in the morning made her hair look like a halo, and she had a sly look in her eyes. Happy anniversary, Travis, she said. The sound of her voice always made him shiver. His smile was goofy because he hadn't slept well. To Tay, happy anniversary. Do you have any plans for tonight? There was a smile. Just wait and see, big guy. Travis was interested, so he played with his phone and pretended not to be too interested. During the day, there were signs. She got the stink eye from her boss, a mysterious text from Jason's brother, and a delivery truck that stayed outside their house for a long time. Travis was a ball of nervous excitement by the time the sun went down and cast long shadows. Dinner was a quiet event, served by candlelight on their rooftop patio with a view of the city. Taylor was given a pretty silver chain with a guitar-shaped charm in the middle. Her smile was so bright it could have lit up the sky. Now it's your turn, she told him, her eyes shining. Travis got ready. A trip to the Bahamas might be fun. A football helmet made just for you that is covered in diamonds? He had so many ideas in his head. She led him inside while covering his eyes with a blindfold. The only sound in the house was the soft hum of the air conditioner. He heard a click, then a buzzing sound, and then lights. Travis let out a gasp. His living room looked very different now. A huge Kansas City Chiefs flag was hanging from one wall. Another person showed pictures that showed their whole year together, from their first awkward date, thanks to Taylor, to him cheering her on from the front row of a concert. A huge, specially made, two-tiered arcade machine stood in the middle of the room. It had every famous game you can think of, with Pac-Man next to Donkey Kong and the brand new NFL Blitz game in the middle. Tay. Travis couldn't say a word. It was more than just a gift, it was a shrine to their strangely perfect relationship and a celebration of the things they both loved. Taylor took off the blindfold with pride in his eyes. I thought that after a year, it was time to end the argument for good. Who is the real gaming champion? Swift or Kelsey? Travis still had a loose mouth. He gave her a tight hug, and the smell of her vanilla cologne brought him back to reality. He had to admit, you win, Tay, and he laughed. You always win. He felt warm all over when he realized that this wasn't just an occasion, it was a promise. A promise of fun, competition, and a love that is as bright and surprising as the two people. The nervous energy in the air in Kansas City matched Travis Kelsey's motion sickness. Today was their first anniversary with Taylor. The year had gone by so quickly, with touchdowns, sold-out performances, and stolen kisses, that Travis felt terribly unprepared. He had imagined big actions and fireworks shows that would be just as exciting as the way he always celebrated when he made a game-winning catch. Still, he was fumbling with Taylor's favorite flower arrangement, making him feel like a beginner at training camp. He found her in their Nashville home, where the sun was going down and making everything yellow. Her hair was dancing in the sun as she played a familiar tune on her guitar. The sound made him feel warm. The melody of the song held the weight of a thousand silent memories. It was the song they danced to on their first date. He said, hey, beautiful, and the sunflowers felt like they weren't good enough. Everyone in the room could see Taylor's smile, which was as bright as the lights in Kansas City on game day. Hi, stranger. You're early, she joked as she put down the guitar. He felt a wave of relief. He joked, just wanted to make a good impression, and he sheepishly gave her the sunflowers. She took them in and breathed in their sweet smell. These are perfect, Trav. They talked about old times all night, including their first meeting when they awkwardly ran into each other backstage at her concert, his surprise when she showed up to a game wearing chief's gear, and late night talks that went on until dawn. There was a mix of laughter and quiet moments that showed how at ease they were with each other. Travis was about to say that he hadn't done anything special, but Taylor pulled an old leather case out from behind her. She spoke in a soft voice, I wanted to give you something. His heart shook. 
was he that much better than that odd thing he forgot? He took the case slowly, and the old leather felt cool in his hand. It opened with a click and showed a shiny gold chain inside. It wasn't just any chain, though, a tiny football covered in diamonds hung from it. To my touchdown, happy anniversary was written on the back. With love, Taylor, Travis's eyes got teary. It was great. It showed their unique world, with his love of the game woven into their love story. He didn't know what to say until he finally blurted out, Tay, this is, incredible. You did even better. He got chills when she laughed, that sound that he knew so well. Just returning the favor, Mr. Fireworks display. That night, as they cuddled on the couch with the diamond football shining on Travis' chest, he understood that big gestures weren't everything. Sometimes, the nicest gifts were the ones that spoke to you and honored the unique tune your hearts were making together. It was a tune that Travis Kelsey would always associate with Taylor Swift music and the sweet smell of sunflowers. The nervous energy in the air in Kansas City matched Travis Kelsey's motion sickness. It had been a year since they met by chance in a bar and things went from there into something neither of them could have imagined. When he looked into the living room, he thought he saw a pile of roses because Taylor loved tradition. Instead, he saw a big, shiny box sitting in the middle of the room. Tay? he asked, his voice tense with excitement. Taylor came out of the kitchen wearing an apron covered in flour instead of her normal sequined clothes. That's you. Cheers to your anniversary, Kelsey. Travis smiled, and for a moment, he forgot about his worries. Happy wedding anniversary, sweetheart. What's up with this mountain? Taylor's smile had a naughty look to it. Open it, silly. Travis, who loves to put on a show, tore the paper off with a flourish. There wasn't a fancy watch or expensive jacket inside, tucked away in soft velvet. It looked like a baseball. Not just any football, though. This one was old and worn, and it had a love message written on it, to Travis, the catch of my heart. One year down, many more to go. With love, Taylor, Travis was shocked. These words were not only thoughtful, they were also very specific. The worn leather told him it was the first football he'd ever caught for a score, a memory he held dear. Taylor had found this treasure even though he had happily admitted a year ago that he didn't know the difference between a blitz and a score. He stuttered, Tay, how? His voice was full of feeling. She smiled and said, let's just say I have my ways, Mr. Kelsey. Besides, I figured the best way to celebrate a year with a football player was to give him a piece of his history. Travis's eyes got teary. Along with being a gift, this showed how well Taylor had grown to understand him, as his love for the game was a big part of their relationship. He gave her a tight hug, and the old leather of the football pressed against them, representing their past, present, and the long life they were building together. Later that night, they were talking deeply by the fireplace, and the date was forgotten. Travis knew this wasn't just any relationship. Taylor had a way of capturing more than just his heart. She took his dreams and interests and kept them safe, always reminding him of the wonderful woman he loved.